So there are two types of motivation. There's internal motivation and external motivation. Internal motivation is the idea that you want to do the thing for the sake of the thing itself. This is what fun is, when you like to do something. Versus something like external motivation is where someone is going to give you a reward or they're going to give you a punishment. So the idea that you want money, then you do the thing, or if you don't want your parents to yell at you for not cleaning your room, you then clean the room. Now, internal motivation is something that people enjoy more. When you're doing it, your focus is on making a successful outcome of whatever it is you're doing. Versus external, the goal is to get the object done as soon as possible. Rather than doing it the best way, you just want to get the reward or avoid the punishment. Think about it from the idea that a kid cleaning their room is just going to push all the stuff underneath a bed rather than trying to do it perfectly and well. Versus somebody who enjoys cleaning up and organizing will spend the time to actually place things carefully and in good spots. Now the game Destiny 2 does a fantastic job of internally motivating people and at select times using some external motivation to encourage behavior that eventually becomes good internal motivation. So anytime a gamer or a human is trying to be motivated to do something, they generally have three basic needs that they're trying to satisfy. The first one is around the idea of autonomy. This is to being able to choose what you want, what I want. I'm going to do what I would like. This is seen through the classes. Are you a hunter? Are you a titan? Are you a warlock? The idea being that you can become any one of these different ones. Now, you can play as a titan and become a lightning berserker, if that's more your style. Or you could play as a titan and be more about defense and being careful, more like a Captain America. You even get more specified more individual, more unique when you start changing out different weapons, different exotics, you get even special different versions of a titan or hunter or warlock. The autonomy is not just you making the choice and doing how you want to play, it's also being able to be uniquely you and you being able to play yourself in any way you'd like to. The second thing is through connectedness or relatedness. This is the idea of how when you are playing with people, whether it's competitively or on a team that you feel like you're part of a community, that you're interacting with these other people. Now the tower is a perfect example in Destiny 2 where you go to an area that has a bunch of different players and you can wave to each other, you can goof off around each other, and you have interesting NPCs that you start liking and interacting. They bring you into the world so you begin to understand the community and the relatedness connected to it. The final piece is around mastery. This is where you light level up you gain more weapons. So even if you're not gaining light, gaining more strength and feeling better, you also have more opportunities and options and that increases the feeling of mastery there too. There's also the idea that as a player, you increase in skill and because they keep track of who's the best and leaderboards and that kind of thing, you get to see your mastery show up. They even have accolades that are like, congratulations for beating this raid as a single individual. Now with all these three different things, you're able to motivate internally players. People aren't having to go and play the game Destiny 2. They don't need to, but they want to because it's fun. You'll see examples of them sometimes adding external rewards like bounties, which are basically ways to say, if you play with this void ability, we will give you some experience points. This is good because it encourages variety in the players because people might just want to play one thing. But by giving a little extra reward, they discover, oh, I like this, and maybe I'll play with this even when I'm not being rewarded. It encourages variety and experimentation, plus more fun and variety for everyone in the Destiny 2 sphere. Now, the final point of this is that motivation isn't something that's necessarily about willpower. It's something that's about changing the environment in order to encourage motivation. If you are trying to encourage yourself to do something, think about it for how you can make the choices that you get to do it how you can relate better to the community that you're involved with it, and then how you can actually demonstrate success and mastery. Either way, Destiny 2 teaches us how to motivate ourselves and how to motivate others. See you.